Peter Julius Larsen was born in Copenhagen in 1818. At the age of 10, he was accepted in the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts. He worked in silversmithing and worked with the great Danish classical painter Christopher Willem Eckersberg between 1835 and 1840. His oeuvre was possibly influenced by his teacher, both in terms of style and subject. His artworks mainly depict Danish genre scenes, fishermen, farmers, traditional festivals, and other similar themes. In this artwork, Larsen presents a historical moment that connects a Danish king with Cyprus. This painting is a recent acquisition of the Paris collection. It is entitled, The Death of Eric the Good on the Island of Cyprus, 1842. Eric I of Denmark, also known as Eric the Good, was the King of Denmark from 1095 until 1103. In 1103, he went on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land of Jerusalem with his wife, Queen Boedo. He was the first king to go to Jerusalem after it was conquered in the First Crusade. However, during their journey, King Eric I fell ill in Constantinople. Although he persevered and continued his journey, he never made it to Jerusalem and died in Baphos, Cyprus in July of 1103, where he was also buried. Queen Boadil made it to Jerusalem, but fell ill and died there. The visit of the Danish king took place when Cyprus was a province of the Byzantine Empire. In this painting, the artist depicts Eric I in his last moments, at his deathbed. Next to him, his wife, Queen Boadil, is shown kneeling on the floor and holding his left hand affectionately. On his other side, we see a priest administering the last rites of the king. He is surrounded by figures with their heads held down in mourning, and a lady who stands next to the king, holding her head in despair. They are expressing their sorrow for the imminent death of Eric the Good. <laughs>